there in foreign beauty is your girl Eunice Marie here and so this is going to be a very great video I'm excited to share this little product try out with you guys um, and we're going to be talking about the fur oil in this video um, I didn't film an intro for this video so here I am now filming an intro for you guys really quickly but this is kind of gonna be like a vlog check-in type of video um, just telling you guys my experience my first initial thoughts on this oil and then going through and using it for the days on out and then finally give you guys a little bit of my opinion at the end of what i thought about this oil so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump right into it all links information will be down below if you guys have any questions feel free to shout them out down below in the comment section and so yeah let's get into this all right you guys so i'm here with a quick unboxing of the fur oil tomorrow will be my first day of trying this oil but I wanted to come in and unbox it so you guys can see all that it comes with so this is a lovely little card it says the beauty of nothing to hide I actually really do like this card oh and it has a lot of little sayings on the back of it it says whether you think the bush is back or skin is in we've made beautiful natural and effective skincare and hair care for up top down there and everywhere in between I really like that because you don't have to be bare. I always tell women that. You guys know I'm a waxer. Like, you don't have to be bare. If you want to leave something behind, that is totally fine. Um, <clears throat> it says, our gentle formula soothes and smooths skin to treat and prevent ingrowns, all while softening hair and refining regrowth. Fur is created with the cleanest, natural, non-toxic ingredients for your most intimate areas. Um, our brand was founded by women who believe in straightforward, beautiful care for every part of the body, for everybody. We worked with a dermatologist and gynecologist on each formula to nurture hair and the skin in the surrounding and and the skin surrounding it, whether you choose wax, shave, trim, buzz, or laser, because what you do with your hair is your business. Buying the cleanest and most effective ingredient in your body is ours. I really do like the messaging of this company, and I am 100% excited to really get in and to try out what they have to offer, because that's a really great thing to... You know, it's not just waxing or it's not just shaving. It's whatever you decide to do with your hair. This is what this is for. Um, so it comes with a little pamphlet. has a few things in it. What does it say? Travel wear women who are going places. So you get a little something to travel wear. Let me see. I'm one-handing this, you guys. So bear with me. What is this? Some underwear. Oh, okay. So you get like little discounts on certain uh, clothing places what does the back say modern citizens oh, okay so there's other little things you can get or I guess they have a little advertisements um, other than their own so that's really exciting but let's get to the point of this video okay and this is the fur oil it comes all nicely boxed up I open up the box because I am one handing it so I wanted to make this easy but it comes with the fur on here and the ingrown concentrated serum and so it comes in a quick cute little box now when I was doing my research on this or watching videos I knew that it came with like a little scrubber so this is a little scrubber you put your little fingers in it and it's a nice little scrub that you use you can use it in any area of your body of course down there under arms all that and then this is the fun part now I wanted to try this out so I got a smaller bottle I didn't go for the big bottle because I wanted to see if this was something that was going to work for me so I forgot how many ounces this is but I will definitely put it down below for you guys but um, yeah the packaging is really cute and I'm really really excited to try this out and I will definitely be keeping you guys along on the journey as I try this out so yeah just stay tuned I'm gonna go ahead and continue this video you guys are gonna see my first day and my results after about a week or maybe two and just how I overall feel about this and if it's really worth the hype you guys so stay tuned all right good morning you guys so I applied the fur oil this morning to my bikini area and my stomach area um, 
and it felt really good the this is a really thick oil um a little bit of it goes a long way and it just feels really good i feel like it kind of reminds me of like my diy oils that i make for my ingrowns already um so i like the i like that um it smells really essential oily which i like as well it doesn't smell like chemically or anything of that sort it smells just like you know any essential oil blend or mix would smell um <clears throat> so this is day one of me trying the fur oil and wearing it all day i am going to be using this for about a week to really give it a test run and see if my ingrowns improve now quick snapshot uh, because I'm heading off to work what I expect from this oil what is more of my concern or what I want to see improve from using this oil is um, my ingrowns and of course my skin looks pretty good but skin as well so I would say improvement in the look of my skin and ingrowns I do have ingrowns in the bikini I get them a lot in the bikini line because I do wax and they just tend to have it more in the bikini line um, and that's across the board when people wax I see that they tend to get more um, more ingrowns in the bikini line and on the top part so I do exfoliate and all that but I want to see if this is actually going to help because so far nothing else really has helped besides you know just maintaining to moisturize and doing all that so yeah so this is day one and I will check back in with you probably either tomorrow morning um yeah I probably will check back in with you tomorrow morning or later on today just to tell you guys how I feel but yeah so this is day one of using the fur oil and I am so excited hello there you guys <laughs> all right so I'm coming in I'm checking in with you guys about the fur oil it is the 7th of January 2020 and <clears throat> this is my third day using it I've got to check in with you guys yesterday so this will be a meshed one so yesterday morning I applied it and then I applied it last night now um, I thought I saw a little bit of improvement in my ingrowns, but I took a look this morning and it kind of looked the same. So I was like, oh, okay, like I don't think it's anything like big. Um, I did use a little finger mitt that came with it, which was okay. I mean, it's a great way to exfoliate. So if you already don't have something to exfoliate with, that can be a great tool. But I have so many exfoliators that are used. I really don't really need the mitt. Plus the mitt, you put your two fingers in it and you just kind of like you know like do the area yeah you know what I mean and it's just like okay I like more of like the hand gloves I have the hand gloves those just make it better for you to like exfoliate so a little finger glove it worked it worked it was good it was good but it's to me in my case it just really wasn't anything that's really super necessary I can go without the finger glove um so we're on day three I applied it this morning and I also applied it under my arm once. I didn't apply it under my arm. I applied it under my arm last night. And I didn't apply it under my arm today. Because my underarms are pretty good. I don't have ingrowns or anything like that. But I just wanted to see if it also made a difference there. Um, so, so far, I mean, okay. Third day in, my review is this. I can't say that I've seen anything different from what I currently already have going on. It is a great moisturizing oil. It's lightweight. And I think... If you're talking about just some care for down there, it works. It, it care. It, it's a very solid moisturizer, and it's very simple and easy for you to put in those areas. Um, and I think it's so far for me. My thoughts on it is that it's great to have to start to care for those areas, and start to have something to moisturize and nourish those areas. Okay, but we're gonna continue rolling on with this journey. Okay, we're gonna continue to push forward, and we're going to see. Uh, if I see anything change, but I mean it's not having a negative effect on my bikini line or anything um, Only positive effects on my bikini line. So I mean are not much of a difference, but my skin is not dry I'm not ir irritated. I don't have way more ingrowns than what I had before and also I want to tell you guys um, if you are curious about what I do in my bikini line, I am a waxer, so I do get everything waxed. We get a Brazilian over here. We're a Brazilian waxer girl. And I am about a week into my wax, okay? So, 
um about next week is when you'll start i will start seeing a little bit more hair growth maybe even later than that because i've been waxing for a while so it takes a little bit longer for my hair to kind of come in i'm going to was it sunday i think it was sunday so i'm going to like come back next sunday and tell you guys how i fully feel about this product and see if i see anything different i don't know if i should give it a little bit longer than a week um but i'm gonna have like check-ins anyway i'm gonna continue to use it till the bottle is empty we're gonna go all the way through with this and i really want to see what this product has to offer because it's so bumped you know like it's hyped and i'm really quite curious but anyways you guys see i just want to come in really quickly and check in with you guys about that and yeah so so far so good i mean there's not much results but we'll see we shall see all right i'll see you guys tomorrow or if anything changes Mm. Oh, yellow mellow. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's your girl Eunice here. So, what is today's date? Today is January the 9th. We are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, our fifth day into using the fur oil. And so, mm, let's check in, okay? I'm about to head out to work in a little bit. Let's check in. How do I feel about it so far? <laughs> if I look a little pasty, I don't know what it is. I just, I'm on my cycle and I really do feel like that shit is like sucking the life out of me, okay? But anyways, so, <clears throat> so far, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel like anything down there is worse. Now, I do have a, a ingrown, a not so good ingrown down below, so um it's in it's in an area though that you don't really exfoliate like it's at like the bottom side it's like the bottom side like okay so you know where like your fold your leg folds like your leg folds on the side of like you know your area it's like not in the fold but a little bit past the fold but not like on that area it's in a very odd area okay so um i did put some witch hazel on it and i did put a little bit of the serum on it and actually when i use the serum on it it didn't hurt as much so i'm really curious if it's going to help that to like you know heal a lot quicker because y'all know ingrowns hurt and they can hurt for a minute but when i put the oil on it like that it stopped hurting so it doesn't hurt like anymore or whatever so i don't use it twice every day some days i use it two times a day some days i only use it once so yeah but anyways so i'll check in with you guys tomorrow and i need to put some lip gloss on or something this is not working my lips look so pale i think it's my foundation anyways see you guys tomorrow <laughs> all right hello there, you guys your girl eunice is here back again for the fur oil review okay so it's been a few days it is January the 17th no January the 16th and so I haven't picked up the camera in the last couple of days to update you guys on what's going on or anything of that and the reason why is because pretty much things have been the same like um except for one thing but we'll get to that in a minute so I used the fur oil um for about a week okay we're actually monday made a week so we're a little bit past the week now but i used it for about a week with nothing else okay so i just went shower got out the shower applied the fur oil to my bikini line um, my bikini area my stomach and also my underarms um my main concern like i said in the beginning of the video or the um vlog was um i was concerned about the um ingrowns in my bikini line like that was where my main concern was and i really wanted to see if this product was going to do it for the bikini line okay so i'm checking back in just to give you guys a little bit of an update on my thoughts and to kind of round off this video i'm gonna show you guys how much we have left in the bottle this is what we are working with this is what we have left in the bottle so I think it was Monday morning or maybe it may have been Wednesday morning. I'm not too sure. One of these mornings I was, you know, looking at my bikini line. I'm like, it does not look like it's getting any better. It looks like it's getting a little bit worse, you know. <clears throat> so I decided that I was going to throw um, 
a moisturizer a lotion back into using it in my bikini line now I use lotion in my bikini line um, because to me it just gives me that water-based moisturizer that my skin needs and so when I did that what I did was I apply it like my Shea Moisture um, Baby Lotion. You guys know I love that lotion. I applied it to my bikini line and then I applied a little bit of this on top of that. And my ingrowns looked way better. Okay. Um, I noticed that with using just this, my ingrowns, at first I didn't see much of a difference. I was like, they look like they're the same. But it looked like they got a little bit worse than what they were and maybe that's just how this product goes maybe it gets a little worse before it gets better but all my ingrowns were on the top layer of the skin now i exfoliate two to three times out the week um like clockwork and i moisturize every day in my bikini line hands down i don't forget that at all so my regimen is pretty legit my regimen is pretty good to go um just the only thing that i was just like this oil I don't know and I'm not going to completely throw it underneath the bus and say that it's crap and it doesn't work but I'm going to try it out in the combination with my lotion and see if I see a difference and see if something works that way um, and see if it makes a difference in my bikini line. Now so far we're using it in, in, in that combo my bikini line has gotten better and then I went in with tweezers and I actually did remove um, the ingrowns because um, they were at the surface so you could just see them get them with some tweezers so they do look better. Um, I'm going to continue to use this up to the end of bottle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk to you guys and let you guys know all about how I feel about this um, oil. Now, when I was doing my research and watching videos, it seemed like a lot of people had like not a big result or a big difference in their skin or in their ingrowns. That was one thing that really stuck out to me. People seemed to say like, oh, it's okay. It, it, it's okay. Like it's not the worst thing, but it's not like anything that made a major difference. And that's how I feel so far with using this product. Um, I feel like it's great to have something to use in those areas where you do wax, shave, or just grow it out however you feel because this product is a very well-rounded product. I do like the fact that they cater to everyone. It's not just if you laser, it's not just if you wax, it's not if you just shave. It's period of having hair or any type of hair removal this product is meant for you and i do like that about this company i do like the fact that they are clean and they do use natural ingredients especially well especially in the oil here and so i definitely will continue to use this up um in bottle i will be back when it's all gone and i will tell you guys exactly how i feel and if it's even really worth the hype okay now I am going to have to probably alternate with this. I feel like in my bikini line, I need some lotion. I need some water-based something going on down there. I feel like just the oil alone for my skin is just not it. Like, I need a water-based something. So, I'm going to probably alternate probably between using this and using lotion just so that my skin gets that balance. I'm putting the lotion down and then using this on top of the lotion, doing that. I'm just going to have to play around with it a little bit more to see if I see any differences. Um, but... I'm not gonna say it made my skin completely totally like try like I can't I can't say that it messed my skin up and it made my skin even worse. Not the case. Um, but I don't know. I'm still I'm on the fence about it. Like I like it, but I can't say that I see a major difference in my ingrowns with using it. Now I have seen that my skin in those areas are a lot is a lot softer. It just feels a lot softer, a lot smoother. Um, so that's a good thing. Like it doesn't take away from the moisture or the integrity of the skin. So I do like that. So you guys, I am on the fence with fur oil so far, you know, into what it's been two weeks now of me using it, maybe a little bit longer. And I am still on the fence. I'm like, I don't know if it's a throw it in the trash or if it's a, it's good and it works. So we're going to continue this journey. I'll be back once this bottle is finished to tell you guys my final results um, about how, about using it and see if I really did make a difference in it. Um, I was going to take pictures of my bikini line and show you guys what it looks like in this vlog. Um, but I wasn't too sure if I wanted to go that far. But I have a way of doing it that won't be like too exposing. So I'm going to from this point on I'm going to take a picture of my bikini line. Um, just to see what it looks like now. And then I'm going to take a picture of it when I finish this bottle and let you guys take a look. Now, one thing that other just another thing that just hit my mind is that I really want this to be a legit 
like fur oil only like vlog but you guys my skin just did not agree with just using it on its own and you want to listen to your skin if your skin is like yo <laughs> stop it you stop it and you move on and you do what you do so i'm gonna continue to add this water-based moisturizer into my bikini line i mean and I'm continue to add on some lotion first and then i'm gonna apply this on top and i'm gonna alternate as well with using lotion using this and we're gonna see how it works out so stay tuned to the follow-up follow-up of this video um also too guess what we are going to try to diy this bad boy because i looked at the ingredients and i'm like i have like majority of that in my cabinet so I'm definitely going to DIY this bad boy. Um, I'm going to actually wait until it is fully empty because I want to actually DIY it in the jar. I think that would be really, really cool and really nice to repurpose this bad boy. So, yeah, you guys. So, with that being said, this is going to be the wrap-up of my first initials of the fur oil. And I'll be back once the bottle is complete to tell you guys my uh, final, final, final thoughts on this product. So, stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye.